Olá, eu sou o Miguel Cavalcante do Man The Arena, estamos aqui no Case 2014. A gente vai fazer uma entrevista em inglês, só essa introdução vai ser em português, com o CEO e co-founder e co-fundador do Pipe Drive, o Ragnar Sass. Hello, Ragnar. Hello. Nice to have you here. Uh, nice to be here in Brazil. Uh, uh, I heard that uh, Pipe Drive, the second biggest market for Pipe Drive is Brazil. Is You're right. Correct? Absolutely. Our, we have thousands and thousands of customers in Brazil. And most, most, most important, the most happiest client we have is living in Brazil. We are a very happy country. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, can you tell me and explain why do you think Pipe Drive grew so fast and so well in Brazil? What, what we did right and what we did wrong? I think that it was many lucky small things. But first what happened is that there was some startups which discovered us in 2011 and they didn't know anything about the sales and they needed some solution to use it and they was looking oh there is a solution pipe drive and they started to use us and when we was getting our first clients then we translated our software into the brazil portuguese not europe portuguese but brazil portuguese so we just focused into the one group which was startups it companies and these people and these companies are quite much networking and speaking each other So as this first client was happy, they did say this to other friends and friends. So this was the first wave. How did we got first clients? And how did we started to grow here? And we was analyzing, oh, we have clients from Brazil. So we started to kind of putting more resources into that. And they are like, then it has been growing and now we are putting more and more effort to serve our clients here well and to being sure that they understand the product and so on. So word of mouth is, is, is the number one thing to, to, to grow in Brazil, what you did right is, is word of mouth, have a very good product, have happy customers, uh, do you have any other secrets that you can share with us? <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> you know usually to doing great startups there is no one silver bullet, you have to do many things like right way, yeah, you mentioned the way, first is the product, you have to really understand what is the problem and what's your solution. And in our case, we have been building product which is easy to use and you don't need training. We have been kind of leading the wave of the new business software. As you mentioned, the next thing is indeed you have to do great customer support. So we just opened also Brazil Portuguese support, trying to be sure if clients have questions, we can answer it and doing it well. And I think that it's kind of like timing also, you have to be lucky. Like many times, I believe that Brazil is now a very good market because there are more and more small companies. Every year there are at least 700,000 new companies which are established in Brazil only. And all these companies, if they want to make money, they need some software how to basically manage a sale. And we are here to help them. So basically, I would say that there are like product, support, and also timing. We just was happy to be in the exact time when there are like boom of the small size companies in Brazil. And these companies are just exactly haven't used any CRM before many times. So maybe even didn't know that they need one. And we are just here to help them. And also we are focusing to small companies and the pricing what we have is right for them. So that's why, as I said, many same things together have been helping to drive us bigger and bigger revenue. Uh, there's a lot of CRM options. What's the secret sauce of Pipe Drive? What makes you different on a, on a CRM offering? Very good question. I think that as we have like many different founders in our companies, and we have been focusing into the one thing: how to help sales guy, not the manager, but actual sales guy. And we have been thinking about the same way, how we can build software around actual sales guy life. Not forcing him to change something, but being everywhere where he is actually. So it's kind of, it's really like, you should understand who is your customer. And as I said, we don't, we have vision in the company. Our founders has been working as sales guys many years. My co-founder started in Silicon Valley as a door to door salesman. He was selling books. It was a super hard job. 
people hate you. Yes. You will do it like it's. You a, must it, be a super super seller. Absolutely, man. and it's like summer job, three months, from eight no seven to ten p.m. six days per week. But if you have done these three months, you s understand something about sales. Yes. So we have been deciding one thing: our software have to be easy to use. It has to be exactly no training needed. You have to understand that without any training. And what is making now big difference in the world today is user experience. Design, user experience. We are trying to visualize things. We try to focus the things how people can use us less, not more, but less. Less in, more out. Very nice. I'm not a pipe drive customer yet. You should. And Maybe my, I, I my, should give you a my, my understanding is that your main thing is the funnel. Yes, yes. you're right. And one very nice thing, like a friend of mine that was at the, the conference last week with us also, uh, told me, oh, I use pipe drive and I use pipe drive to, as a CRM, but I also I use pipe drive to manage my ideas. I use pipe drive to manage the, the PR firm I work with. Uh, have like very different ways to use it. Is it, is it common? Uh, people use the funnel you, you build for sales management in different ways also? Yeah, actually this is a very good example. Because there are like, if we honor with our client data, we see that they're opening new pipelines. Somebody, usually who is finding us is sales guy. He's just thinking out, oh, it's easy to use. I understand it and I, I like it. But usually what happens is that companies start to use it even I'm using it for the HR, hiring new people. Really? Yes. Because it's a funnel. Also. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Same way, marketing projects or, you know, corporations. So this is the very good example that what happens many times that people will discover it and it, it's expanding to the other areas because as we have done it in, that you can customize for your specific needs, then you can just very easily do it with basically maybe a few minutes and you can use it for different things because the main thing is still the same, visualizing for you main things what you are working now. That's our focus. In the future, you know, what makes me super motivated that we, which we are working now is that in the future we are analyzing your data and we should even show maybe you have problem with this deal. The more information we have, the better is our analytical tools. So this is the future. In the future, automatization, how we can like track everything automatically or calls, emails and other things. Because it's just, I think that the tools would help you. You know, end of the day, every salesman is doing one thing, he's selling. CRM is just one thing on your table. I just want to do one thing, make a call and close the deal. And we just think, okay, how we can help you doing this with less time? That's the whole philosophy around that. Very nice. And as an entrepreneur and also as a suggestion for a salesman or a sales, sales people, what's the best book you, you ever had? I think that it's always great to uh, learn from other mistakes. You know, I, in the stage I say that I believe that for the startups, so there are many things that will decide would you be successful or not. First is the team, the founders, but second is product. Like in our company, we really care about the product. and. Uh, I believe that Steve Jobs was one of the best product people in the world. So his biography was super helpful for me. Ah, okay. If you're reading it, it's just so great. But not only. Oh. So. This is everybody talks about that. Book. Exactly. So I, I, I need to, to read that, but uh, I'm it's still like six pages before starting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but this is also like it's super honest way. Like the guy who is behind of the most. Uh, famous Silicon Valley VC yes. and it's good and also like Richard Branson has been also like being an inspiration yes inspiration and I think the Peter Thiel was just you know writing also book founder of PayPal yes zero to one to zero zero yeah, to one I haven't read it yet but I have heard so many good things I think that the main obstacle usually is making first step and yeah you know definitely how hard it is to you know start a company and you know go with this thing I would say that the next step is how to survive yeah. and how to find the motivation and go out of this, you know, like the lowest point to the highest point. Uh, if you could do a challenge for, 
to the, uh, to the people is who is watching the this video. Uh, it's like a, a, a short-term challenge, something that they can do until Friday next week. Uh, some challenge that will be like out of their comfort zone, but also something that you believe that if they do it, they will be a better person. What challenge would you give them? You know, exactly, you mentioned so well, people should move out of comfort zone. So challenge is usually exactly like how I can beat my bad habits with like yes. one, one weekend. So for me, I was living in Chile two years ago. I didn't feel good and I just made decision in one weekend, I will run marathon. marathon. Okay. And I was preparing six weeks and I was doing that. So really? I, yes. So I would say that the challenge would be like picking one bad habit and try to think about how I can kill that and making exact plan and just starting to chew it already, already in this weekend. This is the one thing, because starting the company is exactly as well, moving out of the comfort zone. And usually we have so many great things around you. So pick something which you kind of feel that, oh my God, I need to change. And do it immediately and having first results after the weekend. Because weekend, 48 hours, you can do so many things. You can't build new business, but you can make first step, first step which is so important. Very nice. I like to run also. Okay. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Ragnar Sass, CEO and co-founder of Pipe Drive, uh, and Brazil is his second biggest market. Thank you very much thank for you. being here. Obrigado, Brazil. Arena.